we are in our warehouse. This is the area where we store all the parts when we receive them. This section of the warehouse specifically is dedicated to kitting. At first, they follow a kitting approach where we kit all the parts for each car and for each workstation in specific kit. And that allows us to have good quality and deliver the parts on time to our line. As an example uh, of our process in this area, we have a body in white and also down the line, we have the different kits for this specific body in white. This is part of our effort to be ready for uh, the start of production. And this is a key part of our process where we will ensure the quality and the delivery of the parts and the vehicles of the kits. And also I'm gonna introduce Patty. She's uh, our leader for this area and the one to ens that ensures that this area is operating correctly and the kits are built uh, correctly also. Hello, my name is Patty Trujillo. I am a material planner here in Hanford. I just wanted to show you some of the parts that we have uh, kitted for SOP. Uh, for example, here we have our tires with our FF91 logo on the tire here. Out here we have our powertrain. This is our drive units. We have our rear and our front drive units ready for you. Out here we have our bumpers. So we have our lights and our bumper sets ready for SOP. Out here we have our doors. Our doors are kitted for the left side on, th on this cart. We have our windows, our latches, our seals. On this side over here, we have our subframe cart. Out here we have our knuckles, our hubs, our splash guards. Here we have our brake calipers, which have the FF91 logo printed on there specifically for us. Out here we have our rotors and we have our speed sensors as well. Um, out here we have the rest of our parts that we have kitted for uh, SOP and we are ready. Let's go. Good afternoon, I'm John Schilling, Director of Communications at Faraday Future. I wanna welcome all of you to our startup production live stream taking place at our FFIE factory in Hanford, California. This is a significant occasion for us and I'm excited to kick off this event today. Before we begin, please note that during this event, we will be making forward-looking statements based on current expectations and assumptions, which are subject to risks and uncertainties. These statements reflect our views only as of today, should not be relied upon as representative of views as of any subsequent date, and we undertake no obligation to revise or publicly release the results of any revision to these forward-looking statements in light of new information or future events. These statements are subject to a variety of risks and uncertainties that could cause actual results to differ materially from expectations. For further discussion of the material risks and other important factors that could affect our financial results, please refer to our filings with the SEC. You will be hearing from FF senior leadership today who will be giving you updates on the company. Those that you will be hearing from include Matthias Hoffman, who is our SVP of Supply Chain and Manufacturing, Phil Bethel, who is our VP Vehicle Line in Advanced Manufacturing Engineering, Matthias Eit, Global SVP, Product Execution, our Global CEO, XF, and finally, YTGIA, FS Founder and Chief Product and User Ecosystem Officer. Now please turn your attention to witness our first production body, 
coming out of the paint shop, pushed by our senior FF executives from the product, supply chain, advanced manufacturing engineering, IAI, and quality teams to kick off this historic moment. Hello everybody, hello everyone and welcome. I'm Matthias Hofmann, I'm the Senior Vice President for Global Supply Chain and Manufacturing. I want to welcome everybody to our Hanford plant. As many of you know, today we are celebrating the official start of production here at our IE factory, California, where our FF91 Futurist is being built. We were here a little over a year ago, bringing the FF91 production intent vehicles into production. And since then, we have been undergoing extensive validation and testing by our engineering teams to get us to this momentous occasion today. I can't tell you how excited I am to be here today live from the Hanford plant. This is a great milestone for the company, and I want to thank everyone involved who helped us to reach this achievement today. I look forward to providing more updates on our FF91 program soon. Much progress has been made here in recent months. It is great to see so many people working hard to make this state of the art plant production ready. Our trained manufacturing team is busy and excited to be a part of the FF91 production process here and also to be a part of reaching this major milestone for the company today. Today marks our manufacturing milestone number seven, the final milestone in a series of achievements we have made here in the last 18 months, since we have first announced our milestone cadence. The FF manufacturing plant here in Hanford is a state-of-the-art facility that uses highly skilled craftsmanship and leading-edge automated production processes to rival automakers around the world. While this plan is very meaningful to FF, it's equally as meaningful to the Hanford community. Faraday Future has plans to hire many new employees at this facility this year as we ramp up production. We are very lucky to find these qualified employees right here in the Hanford community. To meet the subsequent requirements for volume production, we will speed up the post-SOP phase two build of the general assembly workshop, which we anticipate will be complete by the end of this year. Concurrently, we will complete the review and approval process for all permits, certificates, and licensing for the entire factory. 
Before I hand over to my colleagues, which will share more on the specifics of the car, I want to personally thank everyone involved for their continuing efforts in the final critical moments of vehicle development and manufacturing, including our valued and committed supplier partners. We could not have arrived at this juncture in our business without your tireless and devoted help along the way. We could not have achieved any of this without your hard work, dedication, and support. Now I want to hand it over to Phil, who is our Vice President of Vehicle Line Engineering and also oversees the manufacturing planning teams. Thank you. Thanks, Matthias. It's truly a great day here at FF. This has been the culmination of years of work by many dedicated team members to get this vehicle and facility to where it is today. I have the great honor of being the vehicle line executive responsible for the FF91 program. I also lead advanced manufacturing engineering here at FF. Now, while the FF91 hasn't changed from the outside over the years, I can promise you from the inside, it's a completely new vehicle. We've worked diligently with our engineering teams and our incredible supply base to improve every area of the vehicle. We've improved everything from ADAS, acceleration, range, driving dynamics, communications, computing power, all aspects of the vehicle to keep it at the leading edge of technology. With all the new content in the FF91, we've been running nonstop with our testing and validation at the vehicle level. In past, we focused that, that development testing at certified test labs and highly trained specialized engineers supporting us. Recently, we've extended that testing to on-road and user-based testing to help us ensure the vehicle will be the best we have in the coming months for our user deliveries. As with the vehicle, it's also been incredibly satisfying to see the progress in the factory. Our advanced manufacturing and construction teams have been hard at work installing equipment in our state-of-the-art body shops and paint shops, putting in the latest coatings and joining technologies available in the industry. The vehicles coming out of Hanford will truly embody the soul of FF. It's all electric, it's autonomous ready, it's seamlessly connected, and it has all our latest advancements in performance, intelligence, and user experience. This is the key reason why we kept the design of the FF91 future forward, so that it visually is apart from anything else on the road today. Now I want to hand it off to my friend and colleague, Matthias Eit, our VP of Product Execution, to give you more details about the performance and design of the FF91. Thank you, Phil. I'm Matthias Eid, and I'm in charge of product execution at FF. I'm happy to talk a bit about this exciting product and what it means for the EV marketplace. I've been lucky enough to work on this vehicle, as many of you here today have as well, for a number of years, and in that time, I've been able to see the FF91 from its early testing and development to where it stands today. And it is incredible what progress we have been able to make. Now a little more on the FF91 itself. As Phil already explained, the team has been busy testing and refining all the key features of the FF91 to validate overall functional stability and performance enhancements which have gone across the IOV, ADAS, and intelligent internet app system. With all its connectivity and intelligence embedded in each element of the vehicle, <coughs> it is the ideal foundation for a unique individualization to be built on top of our launch edition, the FF91 Futurist Alliance. All fundamental ADAS features have been integrated to the FF91 and are currently being tested and improve, on proving grounds and on public roads, collecting internal user feedback to further optimize the user experience. We are also excited to say that the beta release of our FF91's unique smart parking and summoning feature has been completed and is integrated to the FF91. The specs on this car are equally as awesome. 
The FF91 features an industry leading 1050 horsepower, an EPA certified range of 381 miles, a 0 to 60 with 2.27 seconds. Just to repeat, 1050 horsepower, 381 miles, and 2.27 seconds to zero, from 0 to 60. A unique front and rear internet, intelligent internet system and a revolutionary user experience designed to create a mobile, connected, intelligent, and luxurious third internet living space and user mobility ecosystem platform. As we approach this milestone, we made further progress with testing and validation of our recently communicated product enhancement program for the FF91 Futurist, which we call the Product and Technology Generation 2.0 program. Product and Technology Generation 2.0 was achieved through upgrades of 26 major systems and components. With, three, uh, with 13 key upgrades throughout powertrain, battery, charging, chassis, interior from the EV areas, as well 13 key upgrades from computing, sensing, communication, user interaction, to the newest technology from IAI for significant performance improvements to the FF91 Futurist. It's built in a unique factory that mirrors the thinking as well. As Matthias Hoffmann said earlier, this facility is state of the art, just like the FF91. It uses a combination of highly skilled craftsmanship and leading edge automated production processes to complement both ways to produce to rivel the automakers, automakers around the world. Our users will expect this level of craftsmanship, first rate quality, and an experience suitable of the finest luxury car makers. Now, I want to hand over to our global CEO, XF. Thank you, Matthias. A warm welcome to all of you coming here today. I hope you are all as excited as I am to be here today and see this momentary occasions in person. One cannot feel the true scale of production without being here on the ground. I've said this before, but we've made a lot of progress in the short time, I have been in this role since November of last year. And this SOP announcement is definitely the biggest news I have been able to announce. Thank you so much. <laughs> since becoming the global CEO, we have done a rebooting of many things, including the program management the engineering development, the manufacturing, and the supply chain, etc. I'm excited to finally see the culminate of many years of hard work, all focused on our one goal, bring the best new EV product to market. FF91 start of production is a huge pivotal momentum for us as it represents a final stepping stones towards at scale production and delivery vehicles. So to our users who have waited patiently for this moment, in evoluting our reading for SOP, we performed the milestone health check of program deliveries, the engineering sign off, the parts readiness, the plant readiness, the quality, and the funding status. Next, let's talk about what is a start of production and what it means to FF. On the company operation level, we are swifting from project-based focus to business as usual operations, with more focus on the daily operations. For engineering, it represents 
the culmination of years of design, development, testing, and validation finally coming into production. For supply chain, it makes that the, all the supply chain system have been built, and it's the beginning of the sustainable delivery from supplier to meet FF production schedule. For manufacturing, it means the company is ready to build the vehicle through the assembly line process and realize the production basis on quality assumptions. And finally, for quality, it marks that the quality control system have been built to ensure all necessary quality inspections and controls are in place to meet the company quality standard. Lastly, I want to also give my appreciation to all internal and external shareholders, including my colleagues, our suppliers, investors, and shareholders. It's because all of you so that we can bring such a branded product into SOP. Now, I want to focus on this vehicle body you see behind me. Well, we uh, have built many production intention vehicles here in the last year, but this is our first production build to come off the line process here in Hanford. It's freshly painted in our paint shop. Looks great. I cannot wait to see these vehicles on the road being driven by my first customers very soon. I want to mark this occasion by inviting our founder, YT, up to join me to celebrate this occasion, YT. Thank you all again for joining me today at this mom moment. Now I want to hand the mic over to YT to say a few words. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Axel. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Hello, global futurists. Today, we are here to witness the start of production of the new species, the FF91 Futures Alliance. More importantly, SOP marks FS most solid step as a disruptor of the traditional ultra-luxury automotive civilization. The SOP was a promise we made to our users and shareholders which we have delivered today successfully. This shows that FF has entered a new phase under the governance and the operation of the new board and the management. We believe FF will quickly restore its due value to the marketplace. I would like to give the special thanks to all the futures around the world. Our dream is becoming a reality with your continued support, loyalty, and deep insights into FF's long-term value. As we start production, the next stage will focus on the following three priorities. First, 
complete the production of the first batch with high quality and unbeatable product power and quickly ramp up production after the SOP and SOD. Second, when the FF91 futures is delivered to the most futuristic ultra luxury users, which we call ultra spare users, we will focus on building a spare user mobility ecosystem centered around the user acquisition and the user operations in order to continuously implement the business philosophy and the corporate vision of co-creation and the co-sharing design at the inception of FF and provide a unique platform for spare users to participate in the revolution. We have divided the post-SOD co-creation delivery of the FF91 Futures Alliance into three categories and three stages. The first is industry expert FPO co-creation delivery. FPO means Futures the product officer. The second is FPO creation delivery. The third is a full co-creation delivery after production ramp up. This three tier delivery plan allows the most flexibility for our manufacturing operations and market demand and delivers the best product to our users. This also helps to mitigate, mitigate the fact that our production capacity falls far behind the market demand. Third, we will continue with iterations and uh, generational upgrades, ensuring we stay on the unique lead edge with our product and the technology power. All of our unwavering dedication and the determination, which may have been misunderstood and even seen as madness to some, have finally paid off with the SOP today. We have finally ushered in the moment of disruption after nine years of suffocating for our dream. So I would love to share with you again what makes FFIE, FS91, and FF Futurist unique? FF is the pioneer of the ultimate intelligent tech luxury spare market in the intelligent EV era and a disruptor of the traditional ultra luxury car civilization epitomized by Ferrari and Maybach. The FF91 is not just the only ultimate intelligent tech luxury electric vehicle embodying the next gen disruptive technology, but also the only product especially tailored for an ultra spare user ecosystem. Our phase one goal is to deliver the FF91 Futures Alliance, the FF91 Futures and uh, FF91 on time with high quality and uh, unbeatable product power. Thereby disrupting traditional ultra luxury brands and uh, aspiring to claim the top place in the global ultra spare user market. Our phase two goal is to introduce future models with an explosive growth in smart device sales and to create a mobility ecosystem with a rapid increase in eco revenues. FF will aim to establish itself as the lead, leader of the spare market. FF's phase three goal is to sustain the rapid growth of its smart device sales while achieving an explosive growth in eco-revenues.
which include the software, internet apps, and sharing. We expect eco revenues will become an increasingly substantial portion of the overall profit. FF will aim to establish itself as a major player in the high value user market and continue to secure its leadership position in the spare market. <laughs> Dear FF Futurists, you are paramount to our success. Maybe you are a member of our global users, investors, suppliers, partners, FF dealer part or FF user part. Maybe you're an entrepreneur like us. Maybe you're an equity investor who identifies with the long-term value of FF. Or a tech and a car enthusiast who always seeks the ultimate experience. All of you share a close bond with FF as we have the same obsession and the same madness in pursuing our dreams. We share faith in the future's spirit. We share the same co-creation and the co-sharing value system. We are all highly adventurous. We are all fearless in the face of hardships and disasters. And most importantly, we never give up. We never give in. This is demonstrated by your unwavering commitment and the support of your FF. By every FFIE share you hold, and by every pre-order you placed, as a result, we remain highly motivated to stay de determined on our way forward. Even though the current production capacity falls far behind, the market demand. We have confidence that we can ramp up the production, production with all your support and create a co-creation and a co-sharing spare user mobility ecosystem for value sharing. At the upcoming final launch event, we will share in detail the unique and the unprecedented product and the technology advantages. We will unveil the FF external partnership pro program and uh, the co-creation and the co-sharing products. We will also make further announcement around the post-SOD co-creation delivery plan. Additionally, I want to remind the investors that the company will hold its annual stockholders meeting on April 14th. All the futures out there, please remember to cast your vote ahead of the meeting date. This is one of the last crucial milestones for the company to gain full compliance with listing requirements. FF recreate a vision at its inception. The same vision has ignited the dreams of many other entrepreneurs and companies. The blueprint we have designed has also been implemented by many others and become a reality to some extent. This is real reflected by the current fierce price war and the, the increasingly saturated mid and low end EV market. That said, as FF is embarking into a new stage today, we are still the only adventurer in pioneering the ultra spare segments of the intelligent like luxury EV market. In the face of new opportunity and the challenges, 
the partnership program that involves both internal and external partners is the cornerstone of our success. We continue to uphold, uphold the core philosophy of co-creation and co-sharing. We welcome all futurists to join the ecosystem. Dear partners, let's build FF into the fiery plus Maybach of the intelligent era. Let's reformat the future of mobility from top down. Let's join hands and build out a spare user mobility ecosystem. Let's do it. Thank you. Thank you, IT. We're going to move the car, and then I want to invite everybody up, and uh, we're going to take some photos. So give us a second.